Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, and welcome to another fine Earwolf program on the Video Podcast Network. Stay tuned for Comedy Bang Bang. Oh, my favorite. The Roastmaster General Jeffrey Ross is with us. He's going to tell us all about his new Comedy Central show, The Burn. Plus, his and our good friend Sarah Silverman is here. <laughs> Author Cam Bilmoth reads from his new memoir. Plus, musician Ron Sexsmith is here. Big fan. He's here to play songs from his new album, Forever Endeavor. All of that and more, all on today's... <laughs> The contents of this podcast are to be used for educational purposes only. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much to Chalk Dust for that uh, wonderful catchphrase submission. Uh, the contents of this podcast are to be used for educational purposes only. Hello. Welcome to the show. I am Scott Ackerman, and uh, uh, we're going live here. If you're listening to this, we're not live. If you're, I mean, if you're listening to it while you're watching it live, it certainly is. But uh, if, this, if you're listening to the podcast version, we're not live. If you're watching the video archive, we're not live. But we're live right now on YouTube. Uh, youtube.com slash earwolf right now so welcome to the people who are watching us live and uh, what a show we have for you tonight I mean Hollywood Nights it doesn't even you know it's an understatement at this point you know what I mean so uh, let me go round robin through our guests that we have here uh, first of all you know him as the Roastmaster General uh, I've been seeing his comedy since 1995, I believe. I saw you in Aspen was the first time I ever saw you. And yeah. uh, uh, first time on the show. It's a big treat to have you here. Uh, you know him as the host of The Burn. Jeffrey Ross is here. Thank you, Scott. That was beautifully <laughs> beautiful intro. Thank it really you. was. I said some really nice things. I feel you really were the host of The Burn. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw you in Aspen. It came. It was in your delivery. I felt the affection, and thank you. It was warm. It was relatively warm. I feel very at home here. Thank you so Even much. Even though I've never been on. Yeah, uh, I can't believe you haven't been on. Uh, Heard it many times. Thank you so never much. Never been asked. Uh, but it's cool. Maybe, you know. I believe at one point I asked and you were busy. Anytime you've then... ever asked me to do anything, it's been at 2 a.m. at UCB. It's never <laughs> been an actual... That's true. Uh, <laughs> speaking of 2 a.m. at UCB, you know her from her many sets at 2 a.m. at UCB. Uh, Sarah Silverman, our old friend of the show, is here. Hello, Sarah. Hi. I'm in the middle of giving myself a breast exam. You could have given me a warning. Oh, God, I think I feel something. Not good, right? Right. Right. Hi, Sarah. How have you been? Hi. Great. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. I mean, it's so good to see you guys. We're close friends, obviously. We're like this, Scott. Hello. And you've been on the show many times. This is probably your fourth appearance. Too many times, if you ask me. A lot. Too many. Maybe too many. I don't know. Probably too many. <laughs> and you, and of course, Jeffrey, you're a, a, a good friend of Sarah's as well. Great to see you, Sarah. Oh, my God. We just had lunch today. It's so good to see you again. That's nuts. What did we eat? I forgot. We had shrimp kebabs. Oh, that was good. Right? <laughs> I don't. I never saw you eat shrimp in my entire friendship with you. <laughs> today, what a day! It's but a today was amazing. Day. Yeah, that was cool. That was that was major. Well, let's turn to my left here, Sarah. <laughs> great to see you, and uh, I, I look forward to hearing your wit and wisdom all throughout oh, the show. Oh come on, you will. All right. All right. So, so let's turn gonna, to my. Is this yes. going to be Todd Barry? <laughs> No, to my left, this is a real person. Uh, this is, uh, of course, you know, is this your first book, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Bill Moth? Yes, or my first book. Your yes. first book, okay. He's an author, a new author, yes. new to the field, uh, and we'll be hearing some of your book. What is your book called? Letters to Mom. Letters to Mom. Cam Bill Moth, it's very nice to meet you. It's very nice to be here. I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Bill Moth, I look forward to hearing your, uh, you're going to read from the book? I'll, I'll be that... reading an excerpt from my book later, yes. That's fantastic. What are your interests? We don't know. We, I, I've never heard of you. This is your first book. Would I have heard of you from some other? I'm a, I'm a columnist for the Detroit Free Press oh. Daily. Okay. Oh, I have not read that, so. Mm, no, I write, I write a weekly column. Oh, what's your column about? Family, appreciating the old things like... Leather baseball mitts. Oh, I love those. What are they made out of now? 
synthetic fibers. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, I look, and but but your your book doesn't deal with all that. No, no, my book is a more personal matter. Oh, okay, great. Well, I look forward to hearing a little bit about that. But feel free to chime in at any point because this is an open forum, and I want everyone to to you know it's not all just about comedy. So I'd love to hear about leather baseball mitts if if you have anything to say about those or any topic at I any will. point. I will. Thank you. All right, fantastic. Uh, going right across from us, this is also his first time on the show, and uh, it's a, a, my pleasure to have him here. I, I've been a fan of his since oh, his wow. first record uh, much. many years ago, and uh, uh, a writer of, of one of my favorite songs, Secret Heart. One oh, of my, oh, you know that one. Yeah, great yeah, song. Thank and you very uh, much. check out his, his work. And he has a new album coming out uh, in a, a week or so? February 5th. February 5th, and that's called Forever Endeavor. It's Ron Sexsmith. Hello, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I don't think that's Sarah Silverman, but... I, that's obviously Sarah Silverman. I can't Sarah hear Silverman. you. Like, I can't hear that. Did you hear that, Jeff? Oh, you're, or you're wearing a headphone, sorry. I'm not sure. I think it is her. I think oh, it, it is her. her. Okay. We know her the Thank best you. out of Thank any you. of us. I haven't, I haven't seen her up close before, so... Yeah. How okay. do I know you're you? Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, how do we know you're you? <laughs> well... Can you give us a la-la-la? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't do that, so that's how you know it's me. <laughs> okay, good. No, it's him. <laughs> right. La, la, la. Now you know it's me, right? Okay, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. <laughs> right. That's all right. <laughs> I do want to say, by the way, uh, if you're watching this live, um, not if you're listening to the podcast, and uh, in the comment section, you can ask questions of any of our guests, and at a certain point, I will read some of the best questions, and uh, so look forward to that. And uh, so, uh, Mr. Sexsmith, you have a, a new record out, Forever Endeavor. That's true. Well, no, it's not out. It's coming out. Coming out. Very sure. soon, yeah. I oh, know. So when does this air? Is this air like... It's airing right now. Oh, it's right live. Now. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it's coming out on the 5th and uh, forever in Endeavor as opposed to and ever. So just... For, right. For, you know. And you spell Endeavor the Canadian way with a with U. With the U. The, the correct way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because you are uh, one of uh, ca- Canada's love. finest citizens. Well, um... Dev, is, is that what you heard? Is that... I, I don't know where I stand, actually. You know, I haven't... Um, I don't broken any laws or anything. Do they knight any. people in Canada? They do, yes. Yeah, do you are you expecting that at some point? I am expecting it at some point. Yeah. Good. About yeah. how many more years? Um uh, well, um I don't I, you know usually when you're on your death's door really, right? That's oh, when, is that they, when that's they usually when they do knight it? you. I think how are you, you feeling? Be, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Is it okay I keep hearing a lot of breath in my microphone am I too close or Oh no, no, no yeah, okay? hey. But uh, no, I mean sexy, um, I'm opinion. expecting a Sir Ron Sir Ronald at some point, you know, and uh, now, is your actual name Ronald, or do you think they'll extend it if you get the Sir? Um, it is Ronald. Ronald okay. Eldon Sexsmith Great. III. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Eldon, yes. Which, you know, there was a period where I thought about dropping the Ron, because it's not a very exciting name for a musician. Right. You know, Eldon Sexsmith, on the other hand, sounds kind of El- sexy. Elton John or El- <laughs> Elvis Presley or something. But or anyway. just change it to Eldon John. <laughs> yeah, he's not using it. Elton John Jr. You got something. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Jeff, you you a fan of uh, of Mr. Sexsmith's music? Have you ever heard of him? I don't think you've ever heard I'm of so me before. I'm so curious now. Oh, I'm not very good. Are we going to get to hear some tonight? Uh, no, I didn't bring my guitar. You're holding oh, it. Oh, I am. This okay. is a video podcast. Oh, right, it's live. Right. Come on. Yeah, I'll probably do something a bit later. <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll be hearing a song. She's from, more from convincing as Sarah Silverman than you are as a professional <laughs> singer so far. Thank I'm, you. I'm John C. <laughs> Riley. I don't know. <laughs> you do sort of look like John C. Riley. I know we. I well we. Well, yeah. Well, that's a compliment, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, definitely. I love. He's my favorite actor in the world. Really? Yeah. I wonder if you're his favorite singer. I doubt it. No, but he's he's been. He came to see me at Largo last year, which was like just surreal, you know. Cause mm-hmm. I just. Yeah, I love that guy so much. Ever since Boogie wow. Nights, you know, mm-hmm. great film, great film. Boogie Nights. I like the, the Canadian pronunciation. How of, did I? Of, bo- well, you said Boogie Nights. Oh, did I? Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, is that how you guys pronounce it? Well, up my there? wife says I pronounce tofu wrong. Do to- I? Oh, because you're you're stressing the second syllable. Apparently, yeah. Tofu. How do you say it? What's the correct way? Tofu is oh, the tofu. way I would say it, but that's not correct. Right. It's still crap, whatever you call it. <laughs> hey, easy now. Come on. Come on. It's not that kind of an edgy oh, show. Oh, sorry. All right? I never all liked right. that stuff. Anyway. Uh, Jeffrey Ross, tell us about the Burn Go. Ah. Well, it's on every Tuesday at 1030 for two more for this season. Just two more? Yeah, we have short season, six episodes. Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, it's not a two more. We'll be back. <laughs> right I'll after be this. Back. He'd say, I'll be back. <laughs> That's right. He would say that. Yeah. Sometimes he keeps that promise. He does return. We like to keep them, you know, roasting's very special. Mm-hmm. We sharpen our pencils. The writers are back there right now coming up with some crazy stuff about Tell the Grammys. Tell me about the, the premise of the show. What, what exactly? It's a basically a weekly roast 
of whatever we want. Uh, sometimes I, I do an opening that's just basically roasting the week, whatever we want, and I go out on a roaster coaster, which is a rolling podium, <laughs> and I roast uh, public enemies like meter maids and smokers, and and uh, this week for, next week for Black History Month, uh, I'm roasting black people on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Wow, interesting. Yeah, we just we just shot it on Martin Luther King Day, which gives it a very festive feel. <laughs> right, a lot of celebration happening. It was, it was really good. And uh, wow. yeah, we, uh, it's basically a roast of all the things that we uh, love in the world. And you you have a panel of comedians on Halfway as well. through the show, three uh, roasters come out, friends of mine usually, and we take the world apart and each other mostly. Really fun. Shooting with uh, a lot of Michael Ian Blacks on this week. Right, right. And Brian, I know Brian Poussain Brian was, was on Brian was on last week. And uh, right. yeah, it's been crazy. Natasha Leggero and uh, probably a lot of your... Uh, Bang bangers. Right. And how do you, uh, looking back at your career as the Roastmaster General, mm. is it something that you aspired to do? I know you had a fascination with them growing up. I mean, is it like the culmination of everything you've always wanted to have? This one's pretty, I did have kind of a moment the other day where I was like, I have a freaking TV show <laughs> where I say basically whatever I want. Comedy Central hasn't censored me once. Really? For nope. any crazy Not idea. even one joke. No, not really. I What's the hardest joke that you... The worst they'll do is bleep it or, or blur something, but mm -hmm. they don't say, you can't do that. Are you taking out your penis a lot? Is that what's no, happening? No, that's not my stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the worst, like, what's the hardest joke that you've you've done recently? I went, I did a whole, I did a, hmm, I roasted, I went to a porn set and I roasted, um... Uh, parts, body parts. I roasted a penis, a vagina, <laughs> and, and a rectum. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And you wrecked them? I wrecked them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, okay. it was pretty good. It was fun. Wow, fantastic. So, uh, turning to Sarah here, Sarah. Yeah, you said vagina, so clearly you have to come to me, right? <laughs> Vaginas. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on in your career? I mean, I know we talk all the time, and I should know this, but tell the listeners and the viewers here at home. I have a lot going on, Scott. Like, I had to go grocery shopping. <laughs> I had to feed my dog. Right. I am just now getting into singing telegrams. Me receiving or giving? Giving. Uh, or buying for people, I guess. It doesn't have to be receiving or giving. 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 So you're actually performing them. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I go, I ring the doorbell, say it's somebody's birthday. I say, hey, I heard it's your birthday. Aren't you glad <laughs> you weren't aborted? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Wow. Uh, or say somebody just had a baby. I ring the doorbell and they answer. I say, looks like you're a new mother. Congratulations. Aren't you glad you didn't get an abortion? <laughs> wow. And the like. And the like, sure. You must How? make a ton of money doing this. <laughs> yeah. How it's much do you charge? killing, Jeff. It is killing. <laughs> How much do you charge for these? Nineteen ninety-five. That's it yeah. to have Sarah Silverman show up to your doorstep. Nineteen thousand. I I like <laughs> a good deal. No, nineteen dollars and ninety-five cents. I like a good deal. I like to get a good deal. I like to give a good deal. 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 <laughs> deal. Thanks, Jeff. If you were giving, I love him. If you were giving Jeff a, uh, a singing telegram, what would you say to him? I'd say. Jeff, you got your own show. Congratulations. <laughs> Aren't you glad you didn't get aborted? <laughs> Not bad. When did Sarah, when did you start using Gilbert Gottfried's hand motions? <laughs> <laughs> But I'm, I might be leasing them, uh, <laughs> but for a good rate, nineteen ninety-five. What do you think, though? Maybe you guys could team up and do the singing telegram thing together. I mean, a I big could, star like I Sarah could, here. I could back her up if you want. Yeah, yeah. Well, How about I like why don't we the hear sound a little? Of that, but yeah. I, don't, I don't do it back there anymore. Oh, no. 
Don't do it back. Sorry. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's one of your <laughs> that's Sarah one Silverman. Of my things. Right, right. Right? <laughs> I get it. I get it. Let's get together and make some music. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm up for that. You keep reaching for your guitar well, like you're well, going to do well, something, I wasn't and then sure you don't. If you're, someone's gonna go, okay, you're on. So. Sort of oh no, you're on. Yeah, let's hear. Nervous. I just let's hear a collabo. Do you just play that, or do you just hide your heroin in there? Well, yeah, I do all all of the above. Hey, well, you just mentioned Gilbert Gottfried. I actually saw his the burn the other night, and he was on there. Oh. Now, does he ever groggy and and in, in the morning? In, in, or is real he life, in real life, in real life, he talks like this. Oh, is that right? He barely mumbles. <laughs> He's got to save it. And then when he goes, when the camera, come on. Oh, was that? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's pretty great. Let's, uh, so Thank no you. collabo, really? No Sarah well, no, Silverman? I, would, I, if oh. she, I what key? I am um, ready. Uh, any any e, key. E. E. Okay. Um, geez. It's hard. I'm, I'm sort of like this. My headphone cord is sort of keeping... Okay, there we Let go. Let me help you out. There we go. Okay. This is Sarah There's Silverman me. featuring Ron Sexman. And by the way, I just want to preface by saying I love when Sarah sings. She has such a beautiful <laughs> Such a beautiful voice. I this can't wait to hear this. This is such a treat. This is such a treat. Thank you, Jeff. I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> This is a song for Jeff. Okay, what? Any, any particular e. genre? Uh, the there genre. we go. Oh, that's good. Like something like that. Is that like? Is that bluesy? It's sort of rock and roll. Okay, oh, like could, Elvis. Yeah, or Elvis should be more like like that kind of deal. I gotta get my shoulders into it <laughs> and my thumbs. Oh, Jeff Ross, you got me. Why don't you come on back and we can both go pee? Cause I like. Woo! Cause Jeff Ross, you're the guy, you're the guy for me, you're the guy for me. Let's go pee! Vaginas! Woo. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Sarah Silverman and Ron Sexsmith together. I never thought that the two of them would ever Singing do a to song me. to get. Singing about uh, you and to you. That, that was cool. incredible. I didn't see that coming. I never good. thought this would be such an honor that I'm getting tonight here. <laughs> Crazy. Cam? <laughs> That was wonderful. <laughs> okay, great. That was pretty great. It was really good. All right, tell you what, why don't we take a break uh, when we come back. A break we'll have... from what? That wasn't a break? <laughs> that was something? That was work? That was content. <laughs> <laughs> that was premium content. Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Comedy Bang Bang. We'll have more Jeffrey Ross, more Sarah Silverman, more Ron Sexsmith, more Cam Bill Moth right after this Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> we are back. Comedy Bang Bang for another week, and uh, this one is live streamed on YouTube. So congratulations if you're watching it live. And um, <clears throat> we have some viewer questions here. Um, we have our guests here, of course, Ron Sexsmith, Sarah Silverman, Jeffrey Ross, and uh, Cam Billmoth. And uh, this comes to us from Zach Dunn. Zach Dunn asks, Sarah, are you planning on writing sequels to The Bedwetter? Oh. Well, it's pretty much out there, I guess. There's not much more I can say about Wetting the Bed. I explain it from A to Z. It's pretty inspirational. If I asked myself, was that an amazing book? I'd answer yes. I'd say no to your question and just read the book twice. Better yet, buy the book twice. <laughs> right? Sure. But you know what? Check your facts. You might want to Google that for real. Because I might not know what I'm talking about. You might be stoned. That's right. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, Jeff, uh, here's one for you. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, what's the best burn you've ever heard about yourself? Oh, boy. That comes to us from Wild Fool. Wild Fool. <laughs> mm. Come best on, burn Wild about Fool. Myself. Use your Christian name. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have to say, hmm. Greg Giraldo was so funny. I don't know how many people He's the greatest. Out there are familiar with his yeah. roasting, but so funny on those roasts. He just—I uh, don't know why this pops to my mind, but it didn't even come in the form of a joke. He was just exasperated and yelling at me, and he just said, "How fucking fat are you gonna get?" <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that he had all these amazing—he had fifty great classic roast jokes and then he just stopped looked at me and stopped <laughs> being clever I just got real and for some reason that, <laughs> that you... cracked me up at the time <laughs> and also I lost 10 pounds after that <laughs> right so it worked <laughs> yeah um, you were saying during the break to us that uh, uh, on the show recently you roasted the Westboro Baptist Church people yeah 
And and what what were you saying to them? What you, you went to a what you where'd you it find was, them at a funeral? No, they uh, they normally go to funerals and and stuff like that, and they protest. Mm-hmm. So I found myself in Kansas over Christmas. So I took a uh, ride. You just found yourself there. My girlfriend's family was out there. Mm. So a couple hours from Topeka. So uh, one of them was following me on Twitter. And one of the one of the Westboro. Yeah, so I DM them and said, "Hey, I'm going to come out there um, and do a little. Uh, I'm just going to do a bit outside your church if you want to come out." Uh, and they were into it. You know, <laughs> they were into it? not in an enthusiastic way, but just sort of like, "Okay, what time?" <laughs> <laughs> because as long as I basically show their sign in the piece, they feel like they've gotten something the out of it. Out. Yeah, which. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily agree with it. They're so silly, and it was. I got I had a stomach ache just going out there. They're really evil people, but right. I figured what better way to exercise my First Amendment than go to their turf on Christmas? <laughs> it was on Christmas. It was on Christmas okay. Day, and um, roast them. What did you say? And about they didn't them? laugh. And they laughed at like one out of like eight jokes, they, <laughs> and it was only when they couldn't help it. If I made fun of these two giant dudes came out. One of them was a Phelps family member and Oof. some other dude, and it was very. What, you know, what, do you remember the one they laughed at? Oh, I said something like, uh, "How does it feel, Phelps family? You're the most hated family in America, and that includes Medea's family." <laughs> <laughs> and they gave it up for that one. That one, you know, it couldn't. I said, "You're always exercising your First Amendment rights," and then I patted him on his belly and said, "That's the only exercise you guys get." <laughs> <laughs> but it got kind of meaner after that. I, right. I turned it on. It was, you know, uh, you're always protesting military. Fu- you know, soldiers fight for your right to protest at their funerals. Why don't you uh, return the favor or something like that? <laughs> right. It got till they till it just became just where I just felt like I had to leave. I felt sick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it was kind of it was it was interesting to see that they did laugh. They were human. Somebody to be that mean and hateful. They have like God hate fags and yeah. God you would hate think that someone America. who says stuff like that would never laugh in their life at all. <laughs> that's was why the experiment for me was was trying yeah. to find out how do you exactly what these people are like. Right. I felt like I don't know. It was like meeting a Nazi or something. They yeah. laughed during the movie Philadelphia. I think <laughs> they did. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, let's let's talk to Cam here because Cam, you've been very silent here, Mr. Bill Moth. I know that it's. A I'm a great sp- listener. <laughs> great, <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, I know it's a, you know it's a tough panel to make a, a dent in. You have three legends of show business here. Uh, two certainly from the, the comedy world and one from the music world. Oh, I'm and, in awe. Oh, geez. But uh, you may be a, a future legend of uh, the author world. Uh, that would be world? my hope. <laughs> I don't know why I pluralize that, but. Uh, well, there's fiction and nonfiction. <laughs> okay, good. That's why I did it. The yeah, literary yeah. world, I think. Yes, is the, yes. yeah. No, sure. that would be my hope. You know, I mean, I'm just an old-fashioned guy. Sure. You know. I did say at one point, go ahead and chime in about leather baseball gloves, and you haven't done that at any I point. was just recollecting, uh, thinking about Stan Musial. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Passed away. Yeah, that's too bad. Recalling. You know, these days, everyone has... 3D LCD televisions. Just remembering back when I got a plasma TV. Wow, that I mean that that <laughs> seems like it wasn't that far. It doesn't have 3D capability. I'll tell you that. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, what but else? Um, did I? What else is old fashioned? <laughs> sure, I don't know. It seems like you're on a roll here. <laughs> oh, the older generation MacBook Air. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, yeah. See, it's fun to reminisce about these mm. things. Yeah, they don't make those anymore. So, tell us about your book, though. You have a book, Letters to Mom. Letters to Mom. It's a it's a series of letters I've written to my mom. Uh, things that I I wish I could have been able to say to her. Oh, okay. Um, your mom is, I guess, passed away. No. Oh, no. oh okay. No, I just don't have no plans to visit her anytime soon, oh, okay. and I've lost her phone number. Oh, really? It seems like. Do you have siblings? You could call uh, them up and. Yeah, but. You know, I only have six of the digits for their phone number. Oh, okay. I could spend 
nine attempts figuring out the last one, but sure. why bother? Yeah, I understand. Okay, well, uh, so tell us about this book. You wished you had so said these things Letters to mom. to mom, yeah, and each one is a different letter, something I wish I could have said to my mom. Okay, great. Well, we can all relate to that. How, I don't know how I you're... Mean, doesn't your mom miss you? You should call her. She's probably <laughs> pissed off at you. I don't know her number. I wish I could. She misses you. She loves you. What about your dad? <laughs> Good point. I don't... Are they divorced? I'll speak to my father anymore. Oh, oh okay. So this sad. is tough. This is tough. I lost his number too. Maybe, maybe the book will bring them out of the woodwork. Possibly, yeah. possibly. I'm, I'm pretty fine with not talking to them. <laughs> yeah. I should be clear about that. I don't know why you wrote the book, but okay. Uh, uh, I guess we'll hear why when sure. you read some selections. So, you, uh, shall you, uh, yeah, I have an excerpt. I could read from it right now. Sure, read an excerpt. I have, I have a PDF of it. A, a PDF. Yes. Okay. What does that stand for? Just curious. PDF. Yeah, that's a great I question. I never knew what that stood Cam, for. Cam, do you know what that stands? for? Portable data file. Okay, thank oh, you. Okay. Wow. Do you remember? Oh my God, I'm so oh. horny right now. Thank you for answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's let's read from your so have, PDF. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Dear Mom, how's it going? I miss you. Oh. Look, I know I haven't always been the best son, but I want to become a better person. So I'm beginning that process by fessing up to some of the stuff I've done over the years. Hmm. First, remember when I was nine, how you came home one day and your antique vase was on the floor in a million pieces? And I said Patches knocked it over? Well, it was actually me. I was playing ball in the house with an old-fashioned leather glove, just like how you told me not to. Oh. And remember when I was 16, how the car had a big dent in the side, and I said that it happened when Patches drove the car to the pet store to buy dog biscuits? That wasn't true. I dented it when I was out buying beer with my fake ID. Mm. And remember when you found all that heroin and I... I said it was Patch's heroin, and that Patch's sold heroin so that he could pay for his snossage habit. That was my heroin. Even when the house burned down and I told the police, Patch's started the fire because he wanted to meet that cute Dalmatian who rides on the fire truck. Well, the truth is I got stoned and passed out with a lit cigarette in my mouth, and, and that's what started the fire. Patch's actually dragged me out of the house, saved my life. I don't know why I lied all the time. I guess just having a mentally retarded younger brother named Patches always made it easy for me to blame someone else. Right. Anyway, I'm sorry. I hope you're doing well. I wish I could tell you all this in person, but I just don't feel like calling you. Love, Cam. Wow. That's fantastic. How about that piano playing by me, though? Yeah, yeah great. Very great, Ron. Thank you so much. Unexpected yeah. accompaniment. Thanks. Yeah, wow. I mean, right. you're backing up Cam here. You're backing up Sarah. This is incredible. Oh, yeah. What an honor. Sexy myth. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that uh, that was very moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thank incredible. Wow. And that's how many of those letters are in this book? Eight. Sorry, 8,003. <laughs> wow. wow. That's quite a span. At first I thought you were going to say eight, and then... I, I said eight, and then I thought zero, zero, and I said, well, zero is a non-entity, so you don't say those. Sure. So I said eight, three. I want to know where Patches is, because I want to hang... I want to party with Patches. I only have six of his digits. I'm sorry. God! Wow. Where do you think your mom is right now? The, uh, the Northern Peninsula, where we grew up. <laughs> <laughs> what if she hears this? Oh, I don't know. She'd probably feel some emotions or something. <laughs> Maybe it'll reach out to me. I'll ignore it. Do you still have a heroin addiction? <clears throat> I mean, it never goes away, so yeah. <laughs> right, that's a good a point. But how, when's the last time you used heroin? Mm -hmm. That break was pretty long, I have to admit. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> wow, Cam, that, that's in incredible. Thank you. Any other old stuff you could bring up? Curse of handwriting. Oh, boy. Remember that? Your sweater? My sweater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got this in Seattle in 1994. Wow. Was... I have a question for you. How do you know, if you are an expert on old things, do you know when the right time is to throw something out? Like, say my douche is expired, <laughs> you know, on. from November <laughs> of 2012. Is it safe to say I can still use it? Or should I throw it out? I say use it. We should appreciate these old things. And never throw it out. <laughs> Even after she uses it? Especially not after you use it. That's what gives it character. <laughs> I don't know, Cam. That's You're... disgusting! 
Thing. Yeah, you're kind of a weirdo, I think. Well, then just give it to me. I'll take it. Like <laughs> really? Is it, you have a collection of, like, old used douches? Old condoms, old douches. Oh, <laughs> God, Cam, really? Anything I've ever used that I've kept. You've used a lot of condoms in your life? <laughs> well, yeah. The Detroit Free Press gets oh. you a lot of... I see. About a tale. Yeah. So what? Did, why did you even write this book? I can't figure out. You don't want your mom to read it. I, you don't care if she I ever contacts you I wanted to get a bestseller. Again. Oh, I see. I was driving one day down 8 Mile. <laughs> of course, thought, Detroit reference. Detroit, Detroit. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I'm very that. familiar with Detroit being from there. <laughs> yeah, of course. And so, Tell us more about Detroit. That's what I should be asking you. I'm bearing the lead here. Tell us about Detroit. The Everything Tigers, the, the Red Wings. Of course. The Lions. The, the murder. Pontiac Silverdome. Murder. Murder. What else, though? though? Like, What's your favorite little spot? Mm. The hamburger place. Yeah. <laughs> the Detroit Lion Dome? That that statue of a fist or a hand, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> you never got close enough to really figure it out? I, yeah, I always look in from a weird angle. Yeah, you ever meet Eminem there? Oh, yeah, yeah. We used to hang out. Me, Eminem, Cecil Fielder. You Wait, the three of you used to hang out? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're the non-famous one out of the, that trio. I mean, I'm a local celebrity, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what did you guys do together? We would go to Lee Iacocca's house and throw eggs at it. What the fu- Oh, okay. So you're not hanging out with Lee Iacocca. Mm-mm, no way. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. And did you ever hit the house? No, it's way far <laughs> off the street. <laughs> okay. We, we couldn't. Our arms are weak, too. We couldn't even get them yeah. over yeah. the fence. But you kept trying. Oh, yeah. Uh, I appreciate that about you, Cam. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Who it, were you named after? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I changed my name to name myself after Cam Neely when I was about oh. 18. Who is he? Oh, I had seen a Dennis <laughs> Leary comedy it? special, and he was skating with Cam Neely. And I thought, wow, that's what I want to be, a, a hockey player who gets to skate with a comedian for charity. So there's know? a Boston guy, Cam Neely. Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't a popular popular choice in my house. But so you're a comedy fan? I just was flipping through the channels one day. <laughs> okay, but it inspired you because you wanted to skate with a comedian? He, he seemed like a cool guy. He was skating with a comedian. He was doing oh. a charity event. Okay, but so so you're not a comedy fan. You were just flipping through channels. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of remote controls. Oh, okay. So. Great. Hmm. Interesting. An interesting guy. I wish I had one right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Is Don't the volume roast too us. Low? Don't roast them. <laughs> this is great. Um, this is fantastic. All right. We'll tell you what. Why don't we take another break? And uh, when we come back, we'll have more from Cam, I hope. I hope you're just going to remember stuff and shout it out in the middle of the show. Sure. Okay, great. We'll have more from Jeff Ross, more from Sarah Silverman, and uh, coming up, a song from Ron Sexsmith. Okay. Ooh, That's going to be amazing. Yeah. And if you have anything old that you can think of, I'd love uh, to hear it. Viewmasters. I like those things. Viewmasters. Mm. Cam, oh. tell us about them. Yeah. Oh, well... <laughs> They used to look in them before movies were around. 3D Fred Flintstone. Right? Yeah. But I, love well, in the I bet Flintstone. those could come back. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I bet people would watch this YouTube on a on private a Viewmaster. Viewmaster. Yeah. You guys, the three of you are like <laughs> synergetic here. I don't know about you, I don't you, get Sarah. any of it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are all fucking nuts. Right. Can I say that on YouTube? Nuts? What yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, let's come right back. We'll be right back with Comedy Bang Bang after this. Bye. Welcome back. We're back here. Comedy Bang Bang. Do we have any more questions, by the way? I forgot to get those during the break, but if uh, anyone out there has any that uh, they want to uh, get to us, uh, Julia, just bring them on in. But uh, we're back here, Comedy Bang Bang, and uh, Scott Ackerman here, and uh, having a a fine Hollywood night show. And uh, it's time to play a little something that we call Would You Rather? Oh, Ron, thank you so much for playing this. Oh, yes, um Many, many times. What a treat. Uh, and I'm playing it with my butt as well. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's what, what is that kind of music? What would you call that? Is it re- regal or something? Battle. Battle music. Battle music. Mm-hmm. Battle music. Regal. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I want to come out to this at the next roast. Yeah. It's um, really good when people are silent during it, too, as it is the theme. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to write 
write lyrics to it. Really? Would you write lyrics to this song? What's this would song? You, the I'll game is called Would You Rather. If you would write Would You Rather lyrics. I would work on it for sure. Oh, that would be the greatest honor now, of my life. Okay. Um, we do have a late-breaking question from one of our uh, our viewers here, Brad Gates. Brad Gates asks Jeff, could Jeff roast a few of the names on the table? You want to roast us oh, here? Oh, this table here? Oh, well, I guess I guess what he meant is the people on the panel. But uh, oh, because I was looking at the table. But the table, I, you could roast some of the people on the table. Pretty as amazing. Well. Look at this. Maybe that is what Brad meant. I don't is know. that what it, Kira Knightley was here? Kira Knightley was here. Yeah. Holy shit. What would you say about Akira Knightley? I would say uh, she's uh, so skinny, uh, Sarah could use her as a dildo. <laughs> yeah! Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah! I do. I, Hello! I, I kind of get what you're saying a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't... I, I, no, I guess I, I guess. Put I a couple double A's Who in your nose. Who else's name is on the table? I'm... Uh, let's see. We have, uh, oh, uh, here's Fitzdog. <laughs> Fitzdog Radio over here. Greg Fitzsimmons. Fitzdog, Irish guy, went to BU. You Martin can't make fun of Fitzdog because he'll get me back. Yeah, he will. Uh, who else Fish. Do we have? Fish. Fish was here? Fish with Harris in a parenthetical below. Oh. Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. Oh, what would you say about Patton? Oh, my God. I only make fun of celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play Would You Rather. We all know how this is played. People send me Would You Rather scenarios to our Twitter, which is at CBBWIR. Please do not send them to my personal Twitter. Uh, they will just get tossed out onto the Would You Rather pile. We all know about that. Don't need to go into that. Um, I will read the scenario out loud. I will open the floor for questions. All right? Then you are free to ask me any question you like about either of the scenarios. All right? No, in order to help narrow down your choice, because okay. there's a lot of information that I know that isn't contained within the question. So really just talk it through. Try to figure it out. Ask me questions. At a certain point, I will close the floor for questions, and there will be no warning. And I want to warn you about that right now. There's not going to be a warning of when I close the floor for questions, okay? So get those questions in early and get them in great. I'm stressing okay. out. Sarah, please. I don't can't have handle to. it. No, it's all, you've played this many times before. All right, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> uh, I will then ask you to, I'll close the floor for questions. You'll vote. I'll tally up the points, and uh, we'll do it that way. All right, here we go. So this comes to us from Colin Fraser. Colin Fraser, a.k.a. at C-Phrase. C-Phrase asks, would you rather only be able to get around by rolling upon a computer chair or have to lick the entire outer surface area of anything you eat before you eat it. Wow. <laughs> All right, so would you rather oh, only be able to get around by rolling around on a computer chair or have to lick the entire outer surface of anything you eat? I've opened the floor for questions. All right, feel free to ask I me I have any a question. Yes, you Jeff. mean the, uh, the, the actual food itself, lick... Lick it all? You have to lick the entire thing before you eat it. Yeah. Or be handicapped in a chair? <laughs> that's the rather, that's the choice? <laughs> that, I mean, when you, you know, put it down to that basic of a sentence, yes, that is the choice. Okay. Yeah. It I mean, sounds a little silly. But there may be other... Uh, I think I've broken of, this down where it's be an obvious choice. There may be bits of information that you don't know about either of the scenarios. This is no Sophie's choice. No. That's a, remember Sophie's choice. That was that a was pretty a good choice. One. This was a, this yeah, is yeah. an easy one. If you are licking the plate or a bowl, well, you don't have to lick the plate because you're not going to eat the plate ostensibly, unless it's one of those edible plates, I guess. Mm. Mm. Can do you, do you remember those really? Oh Cam? yeah, I used to go out to a ball game, <laughs> sit in Tiger <laughs> Stadium, big edible plate in front of me. <laughs> edible plate night. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, boy. Those are the days. Oh, Hanging yeah. Hanging out with Kid Rock. Oh, then, yeah. Yep. Kid Rock and I would go watch Ty Cobb. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sarah, you had a, you had a question? Uh, are you, is your mouth like Pac-Man? Yes, your mouth is like Pac-Man. That is a great question. You uh, you have a giant mouth uh, uh -huh. that's, that's uh, about the size of your head. So in, in one way, Jeff, you're handicapped in that respect. Yeah. Uh, you have a giant uh, mouth that's as large as your entire head. That's a twist. That's a twist. That's why you ask questions. That's so you right. got to think about it. You're, you're basically disfigured. Oh, I didn't realize that part. Well, see, that's why you ask questions. You, you, you decided way too early. Are you disfigured? I didn't decide the, yet. I just chair? said that it wasn't a tough decision. Are, are you disfigured in the chair as well? No, or, you have or, a you have a perfect well, mouth. Okay, no, you, but but you have le use of your legs. So you just, so just oh, so sure. you roll around in a chair. Yeah, you're kicking. your wait. You're, is this for real? Are we really? Is this really going to happen? No, no. Whatever <laughs> you vote on, you actually are transported to it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to pay attention. Is, it, is the 
Chair transportation only for when you would otherwise be using transportation, or can you still walk like from room to room? No, you you can only roll around in your chair the it's entire time, and you're pu- you're pushing yourself like this. I see. with Maybe. your legs, so your legs still work. So can you're able anyone... to kick people. Could you roll it onto a plane and still take a flight somewhere, or a bus, or something? Yes. I have two yes. questions. Can you wear a ball gown if you are in the rolling <laughs> chair? And two, will someone else be able to push you? And can they either wear a tuxedo or or a del- uh, delightful ball gown also. <laughs> See, this is how you play the game, guys. This, I mean, she got two questions in there. Uh, I mean, they may seem related, but I mean, this is just, just Sarah, This is you're, you're a veteran at this, so I expected nothing less. Thank but. you, vaginas. But uh, yes, you are able to change clothes and wear whatever clothes you want. And, so ba- ball, and bathe, right? You can you're bathe able to bathe. Right. Certainly, you have to take the chair into the bathtub okay. with you uh-huh. or the shower. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, you you uh, you're able to take that in there with you, mm-hmm. and you are able to hire a person depending on how much money you have. As a celebrity, Sarah, I, I you know you have sort of a little more of an advantage here than Cam, uh, probably more than Jeff. I don't know. I don't know. Sure. I don't want to question your finances. Oh no, Sarah's got way more money than yeah. Me. Okay, so uh, Thanks, Jeff, you are you are able to hire someone, but they are not allowed to. But wear. in fairness, she spends it on waxing. That's so right. We're probably even. But I'm overdue, by the way. <laughs> oh, but they are—they are not allowed to to wear a uh, tuxedo. Oh, ah, back to square one. <laughs> now I have another question. Oh, see, textbook. This is how you play. Great, Sarah. As ice skating is an event in the Olympics. Yes. Do you see where I'm going with this? Can this be its own event? Such as an office rolling chair event with uh, choreography and music, and can I win every year? Great question. Great multi-part questions. And Ron, you're you're going to want to hear the answer to this because I know uh, your eyes lit up <laughs> when when uh, international event that right. Canada can partake in Olympics. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. I know you're you're interested. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is an event in the Olympics. Uh, you are eligible to win every year. There is no age cutoff. How do we negotiate stairs and things in this uh, in this on wheels? You're a handicap. You yeah. got to go to a handicapped elevator. Oh, an, oh, an yeah. elevator, right? Okay. Yeah, I no, mean, but, but, it's, this is opening your eyes to a whole new world. This is how handicapped people actually have to live. Right. You know what I mean? But Think I thought I thought we had full usage of everything. It's just that we had to sit in a chair all the time. You have so. to sit in the chair all right. the time. Yeah. Okay. So so that. So you think you can get out of the chair, walk upstairs, and the chair meets you up there? <laughs> Uh, is this magic? <laughs> I will allow it. Yes, you are able to, or anytime you want to take over lift. three yeah. flights of stairs, yeah. you are able to get up, walk <laughs> up those stairs, and the chair will meet you up there. How it's, often it is will, that? Look it, at him. How, uh, <laughs> it will take the elevator. I, I definitely would choose the, the chair one over the... the oh, the, now, Ron, yeah. I'm afraid that you voted oh, early. Oh, no. I'm oh, no. So oh, sorry. sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to dock you points. Okay. That's negative 243 points. Oh, are we points. all supposed to vote together? Yeah, I clearly said the rules before we started. I wasn't listening start. when you were speaking. Oh, no. I was looking at his screensaver over there. I'm also going to have to dock you points for not listening. <laughs> okay, Six sorry. points for that. Negative right. 249. Everyone else is at I heard zero. May I? Was talking about rules and I yeah, blanked I out. I don't like rules. I'm a rule breaker. Th- and that's yeah. why you're in rock and roll. That's right. Of course. May I ask a question? <laughs> yeah. Because you're so polite, I will allow it okay. during the question asking period. This is a question I once asked. I was having tea with Jack White. Sure. <laughs> Alan Trammell. Don't Alan know who Trammell? that is. <laughs> Alan Trammell. Sergei Fedorov. You're reading Drawing names off the table? <laughs> and Jerry Miner. <laughs> Wait, he's on my side, too. That's, <laughs> That's right. He's from Detroit. He's though. from Detroit. <laughs> yes. We were at Second City Detroit, the four of us, sure. five of us, including me. And I asked, <laughs> what about with soup? Is it possible to... People say that you eat soup. So how would you lick the entire surface of soup? Great question. You you have to basically lick the top. You have to wait until it congeals in kind of a mm. soup crust, mm. and then you have to lick that entire crust, and that will suffice for the entire bowl. But of soup. water, the other liquids, you could, drinking is fine though, right? You don't have to lick. Drinking is fine, yeah, okay. but it's but a smoothie straddles the line. Mm. You know what I mean? You're going to have to lick that smoothie clean. Gotcha. Ew, who likes soups and smoothies? Ew. Yeah. Really? What is it about soups and smoothie? You don't like liquid just coming so at your face? They're so jizzy, right? Yes. Ew. <laughs> right? <laughs> kind of. Ron, you have a chance to get back here if you ask more questions. I mean, you're down 249 points, but if you get in here and ask some good questions, you can gain all that back. Okay, I didn't know there were points either. Oh, I'm going to have to dock you some points for not knowing that there's points. 
Yeah. Negative 255. Come on, man. Well, I'm, get, I'm, get I'm pretty here. much made up on the chair because the, the I don't have a tongue. You just voted again. <laughs> this is yeah. excruciating. This is. I'm going to have to dock you another 246 points. Is that good? Oh. That's, no, it's terrible. It's You're at negative 501 at this no, point. No, well, what if it... Good for Levi's, terrible for you. So, but you mm. in the, the food stuff, you'd only have to lick it once, and then you can eat it like a regular yeah. person, right? Like Great you, question. Like, I'm giving you 505 points. <laughs> wow. Like for, wow. You're, you're in the lead at wow. plus four. Like frozen waffles or something. You could just lick them and then eat them like a regular person. Yeah, afterwards. exactly. That And that is that is a 505-point question. That is that is exactly how you play the game. 505, Guys, also great for Levi's. Also great for Levi's. He was just clarifying the game. He wasn't even asking a question. Jeff, I'm afraid I'm going to have to dock you some points <laughs> oh for that. Oh, my God! You don't, you don't argue with the, the I'm judge. Sorry, you're right. Whoa. I'm going to dock you one point. You're right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hardballs. <laughs> All right, so right now uh, we have uh, Jeffrey Ross with negative one, Cam Bilmoth with zero, Sarah Silverman, you're still at zero two, but uh, in the lead with Ron Sexsmith is in the lead with four points. <laughs> this is exciting. This is a well, nail biter. You know, we all we all saw that coming, though. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't like the arrogance. No. I'm going to dock you five points. You're tied with Jeffrey Ross now negative one. Negative one. <laughs> negative one. Negative one. Yeah, All right. Close. I've shut the floor down for questions. Is there more questions? I oh. told you there would be no warning. Is there I another question you. or is that the only one that you pose? That's a great question. I'm going to give you two okay. points. All right. You're back in the lead at one. <laughs> a lot of math. I can't handle it. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to vote. Um, let's go to Jeffrey Ross. Yeah. How do you like to vote? I, I got a sense of where you were leaning. I'm obsessed with food. Sure. And I've been thinking about this. I love to take walks. It's one of my favorite things. And I love to take a walk to get something to eat. So I'd be okay with the licking, but not with the office chair. Mm -hmm. So I vote to lick my perimeter of my meals. With the giant mouth. What about the ghosts that chase you all the time? (laughs) I have that already. Okay, great. Uh, Turning to Sarah Silverman, how do you like to vote? Uh, it's pretty clear, Jeff Ross. I, uh, I'm going to take the chair. You're going to take the chair. Yes, a lot of prisoners a, would not like that. But I you're... want the chair. There's a lot of buzz about the chair. Everybody's talking about the chair. Get in the chair. I'm there. You just want to be different. That's right. Well, she wants to vote differently than you. Maybe she'll pick up some points, you know? Mm-hmm. It's an interesting I already strategy. Have, I already have a Neg- big mouth, so <laughs> this is not that big a... That's right. It's not that big of a stretch for you. Yeah. <laughs> and you have ghosts chasing you. All right. Um, so you're voting for the status quo, practically. Just the licking is added, which I do sometimes anyway. So that's <laughs> Maybe you might start, actually, when you think about it. It's, it's not okay. such a bad deal. What if you went home? Seriously, Jeff, I would, like to, I would like you to report back on this. What if you went home tonight and licked your entire meal and just said, I want to see how this would be? <laughs> I would. Okay. He's, yeah. He's, here's some. Uh, here's an, you got to get the whole thing there. He's got a uh, some sort of health bar. Mm. Mm. That's okay. It's weird to lick it. It's first. weird to be eating a health bar first. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I could find in the uh, in the uh, deli downstairs from your. Uh, it's a great studio, by the way. Is this? Do they shoot hostage videos in here? Hey, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> do they shoot zero I, dark thirty in here? Hold on a second, Jeff. I know that you burn things. Yeah, but leave our studio. No, out this of is it. great. <laughs> oh, that's thank you so much. It's lovely, that's really. Great. Uh, Sarah, you voted, and that that's your explanation. Pretty much. Okay, great. Yep. Fantastic. I'm going to turn to Ron Sexsmith. How do you like to vote here? Well, I'm still going with the chair, I think, because I don't like. I can't imagine licking things like mashed potatoes and things like that. You can't imagine that. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. You what really about these? About uh, what about these Reese's pieces? You you were all a flutter. You <laughs> came in here uh, talking about the you you ate Reese's pieces for the first time right really, before the show. It was really yeah. Those are good. Those suckers. Those are really good. <laughs> They're great. Can you imagine great. licking yeah. those before you ate that all? That would them? be fine. I could see that something it would like, keep me from biting my nails. Yeah. How, how are you going to do your concerts though with the chair and the? You, you know yeah. what I mean. I well, guess this BB really, King does it. This isn't really going to happen though. So I'm oh, it's hypoth- happening. Oh, it is happening. Okay. You, again, you didn't. You, uh, I've, well, I've brought this up before. A lot of singer songwriters sit down when when they play anyway. That's true. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's not a lot of hopping around. You, you could know. maybe switch over to the pedal steel. You know? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. No, I think I'm going to stick sticking with the chair. Sticking with the chair. Yeah. All right. Turning to Cam, how do you like to vote? Oh, I'm going to go with the, the mouth, the, the licking. Really? Why is that? Just all those fond memories of those edible plates. <laughs> <laughs> it brought me back. 
<laughs> really? Yeah. The nostalgia talking about licking filled me with has is, is influenced my decision. Plus, we're already sitting in office chairs. That's true. So it feels like you want to you, change yeah. it up. This, yeah. this ain't so bad, actually. Makes me, yeah, it makes me want to do kinda, more. Yeah. All right, so we have two for the licking. Yep. Mm. And two for the office chairs. Interesting votes from interesting players. What mm. would you do, Scott? Oh. No one has ever asked me that before. <laughs> I've had to sit here and listen to assholes <laughs> telling me what they would do yeah. for four years now, and no one has ever asked me that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm going to wow. have to dock you points for that. Oh. that is three points off. Oh. You're negative four. Sorry about that, Jeff. That's cold-blooded. But you may have voted correctly. We'll see. Let's tally up the points here. Let's see. Uh, we have uh, Jeff Ross here at negative four. Cam and Sarah are at zero. And Mr. Sexsmith, you are in the lead at one point. This is pretty exciting. It's good, it's good news. Yeah, this good is good news. Me. All right, so let's tally up the points. Uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, the eating was the correct answer. Mm. Oh. The licking. Oh. We did it. Oh. Cam. No. Wow. You, guys, you guys did it. So uh, that gets you half a point each. So Jeffrey Ross, you're at negative three and a half. Cam, you're at half a point. And that means our winner is Mr. Ron Sexsmith oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Thank oh, you. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations oh, man. I couldn't Great have done, job, couldn't man. Have Voting correctly only gets you half a point in this That's game. Surprising. That's amazing. Yeah. It's really about what how What do I win? Uh, you win the opportunity mm -hmm. at the end of the show to sing us one of your lovely songs oh, and plug great. your record. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Boy, congratulations. Well, is your label Motown Records? Oh, is that in Detroit, too? Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Motor City. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kiss. <laughs> Detroit Rock City. Patrick Fugit. Right. <laughs> do you know... Uh, uh, New Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent, the, the Motor City Madman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you He's, hunt stuff together? No, I don't like him. He's racist. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> He's the about one him. thing from Detroit. Oh, you love that about him. Well, I'm not. I'm not supporting racism. Mm. I'm just saying I support people who support racism. Mm, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, that's how you play. Would you rather? That was of fun. Course. It was fun. Would yeah. you, you almost pulled it out. Yeah. If you hadn't asked that question at the Shit. very end Shit. about how I felt. It's a hard song to write lyrics to. It's, I don't think I I'd love to it. hear some. Go. No, I know I said That's it's hard to do. But go ahead. Go ahead and sing some. What's it called again? Would you rather? Would you rather, yeah. What? Mark, I'm just waiting to see what it's going to do. What? 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 No, I can't do it. Sorry. Oh! Would. Oh, you. I thought you were onto something. Would you I... rather? But no, I can't do it, sorry. God, you keep saying you can't do it, but what you've just done is gold. I keep, Would you rather? I keep forgetting I'm not in love anymore. I can do it. I love uh, that. Yeah, I don't know. All right, that's, of course, how we play Would You, would you Rather. We, 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 would You Rather. Uh, guys, we're at the end of the show. We only have one last thing to do, and that's that is it? a little something called plugs. Let's all do some plugs. See, I could have written that one. hot dog. We finished playing all our games. Now all that remains... Our plugs. Well, you can plug whatever you like as long as it's the end of the show. But if you plug before it's time, points will be deducted for crossing CBB lines. Let's have a good time. Let's plug some shit. There are albums to sell, maybe concert tickets. Got a bottom friends, I'll sing along. It's time for plugs. Nice. Thank you. That was uh, Adam Blake. Adam Blake, thanks for that song. Let's all do some plugs. You if plug you... the plug guy. Yeah, that's if they write a plug theme, I'll plug them. Yes. So if you have a plug theme, go uh, head on over to earwolf.com. Go to the Comedy Bang Bang message boards posted in the appropriate thread, and you can be famous. And uh, right now you're live on YouTube famous, Adam Blake, and uh, you're famous uh, as well for the podcast listeners. And uh, let's open up that old plug bag. What do you say? Jeff, what, what do you like to plug? Oh, The Burn. The Burn, Tuesday night, 1030. means so much to me. And you're, you're suggesting people watch it. I want all your fans <laughs> to watch it, please. And uh, you have two more uh, coming up this Tuesday. This week, this week we roast uh, Black History Month. I go out to Martin Luther King Boulevard, and uh, we have Michael Ian Black, Adam Carolla, Sherrod Small, and we're going to pay tribute to uh, Joe Biden's dead Secret Service dog. <laughs> Did you put Michael Ian Black He's in there because of- He's now 101 cremations. <laughs> Did you put Michael Ian Black in there because of his last name, Black? No, because, because he's hilarious and he's okay. a good buddy and he's going to crush it. I'm just saying Black history, my man. Oh, you're right. Michael Ian, African-American. You got very defensive when I asked you that and you oh. didn't even understand what I was you're asking. You're right. You're right. <laughs> a I'm like a... 
detective. And what, what else? Do you have records uh, to plug or anything yeah, like Jeff that? Yeah, Jeff Ross Roast America is now on DVD. Thank you for asking. My pleasure. That's my stand-up special where I go around the country making fun of people. How do people get more information about you? Jeff Ross. You can go to, uh, you can tweet me at real... Jeffrey Ross. Real Jeffrey Ross. Yeah, that'd probably be best. Uh, watch The Burn on Tuesdays at 10.30. Thank you so much. And My you can go pleasure. to ComedyCentral.com and see when the reruns are, in case you have shit to do, Tuesdays at 10.30. <laughs> Fantastic. And Sarah, what do you have to plug here? Well, during the show, I decided I'm going to write another book. What? A Bad sequel to The Bedwetter? Too. Yeah, it's called I Love That, I Hate That, I Made That Up. Wow, why would you call it that? Because it's going to be, uh, you know, chapters where I just say things like, I love getting a letter from my dad. Oh. I hate Los Angeles traffic. <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird if guys had to wear their balls on their face? I made that up. Wow. <laughs> like you, that. That's a great book idea. Huh? Cam well, as an I author. Would, I mean, if I had that idea... I would write it into a sketch and put it in movie 43. <laughs> <laughs> I think movie 43 already came out. I saw it. Mm. Here's a title you'll never hear. Movie 44. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cam, what do you like to plug here? Well, my book, book, Letters to Mom. Which has 8,000... 8,003 letters. Three letters, yeah. yeah. Um, Is it 8,003 pages, or do you fit uh, 10 letters per page? Yeah, no, they're, they're pretty brief. A lot of them so are just... So it's only 803 pages. A lot are just, like, email threads. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Okay. What's up? That kind of a thing. <laughs> okay, you good. could just email her. You don't need to write these phony letters to her that you're never going to send. You could just And he doesn't her. care if she ever reads them. That's yeah. the other part that I don't want to get me on the bestseller list. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and if you can think of anything old-fashioned, write me a letter to remind me of it. <laughs> oh, like an old-fashioned letter. Yeah, yeah. Like pre-timeline Facebook. <laughs> Sure. So, uh, uh, yes, of course. And uh, Mr. Sexsmith, what do you like to plug? Your your record coming out? I met, yeah, I have a record coming out called Forever and Ever. You said it earlier, Forever and Ever, and that's coming out on the 5th, and it features me singing a bunch of songs with some musicians. And we're going to hear a song uh, from it here at the end, uh, after we close up the plug bag. Okay. Um, sure. I mean, uh, I'll, it I'll, I will seems signal a bit out of place, but I'll, sure. I'll oh, try. do you have to arrange your capo? Yeah, I do. Actually, okay, yeah. why don't you do that while okay. I'm doing my plugs? All right. And I will then as well close up the plug bag uh, so none of the plugs get out. I'm done. And, oh, okay. okay. Oh, well, no, no, I guess. <laughs> I guess I should do what I was <laughs> describing then. Um, I have to plug, let's see, February 9th, come out to Vancouver to see me at the Vancouver Comedy Festival. Uh, I will be there with oh. Paul F. Tompkins. That will, yes. Uh, uh, is Vancouver nice? It's gorgeous. I love Vancouver. What, what uh, play, part of uh, Canada are you I'm from, from the other side of the country. Oh. The sort of... Um, Kitchener? St. Catharines, Ontario, near Buffalo. Uh, uh, you know, oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, on the border. Oh, interesting. Buffalo, I remember uh, mm -hmm. uh, being where Happy Days was set. No, that was Milwaukee. I oh, believe. that was Milwaukee. Yeah, I don't know what was set. Buffalo, in Buffalo. Bill. Was Buffalo sixty six. Was the odd couple set in Buffalo? No, that was New York, wasn't it? Hmm. No. We'll never know. Irv Einstein. <laughs> Irvine. Irv Einstein. You don't know. He was the newscaster in Buffalo. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, uh, right. So we. I'll talk more about that in Vancouver, Irv Einstein, uh, February 9th, <laughs> and come up to see me there. And that's it for me. Let's close up the old plug bag. What do you say? Closing up the plug bag. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Closing up the all right, guys, that has been it. That has been our show. I want to thank our guest, Jeffrey Ross. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Very nice to have you on your first appearance here. A lot here. of fun. Your friends are fun. And, uh, you, well, your friend Sarah Silverman is fun as well. Thank you, Sarah. Thank Love you, Mina. Thank you. Mean Thanks for having me. Oh, our pleasure. A lot. Cam, thanks so much for being here. Good My luck honor. with your book. Thank you so much. And good luck with whatever, you know, your old douche collection or <laughs> yeah, any, anything like that. <laughs> okay. And uh, Ron Sexsmith, you will do us the honor of uh, playing us out here. Sure. Fantastic. And what uh, do we? Uh, does this song have a name? It does. I was gonna uh, do one called "Sneak Out the Back Door." Fantastic. Seemed kind of appropriate. All right. So this is to Comedy do. Bang Bang uh, for for another week. The Ron Sexsmith. Thank you so much. Well, I've never been good at goodbyes I'm gonna sneak out the back door Nobody can say that I didn't try I'm gonna sneak out the back door 
Let it ride, let the whole thing slide Drift far from the shore Don't wanna be missed, didn't even exist I'm gonna sneak out Sneak out the back door I got no small talk to speak of Gonna sneak out the back door There's a man here talking my ear off I'm gonna sneak out the back door Till the night in the pale moonlight Can't hide anymore More be on my way Got nothing to say I'm gonna sneak out Sneak out the back door I feel a pang of anxiety At the society gathering I'm gonna find me a corner This little jack on is unraveling Life is over I'm gonna sneak out the back door Before the mood turns sober Gonna sneak out the back door Had it much of a Midas touch No luck to be sure Could you give my regards to the people in charge Will I sneak out Sneak out the back door Let it ride, let the whole thing slide Drift far from the shore I don't wanna be missed, didn't even exist I'm gonna sneak out Sneak out the back door Thanks, bye. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you.